case study on ticket vending machine. So, in this particular case study, we are going to show you that what are the different steps to be followed in a very rigorous way and what are the different diagrams to be drawn and we are going for that analysis into a very detailed fashion to give you some idea. So, in this video, we shall discuss only the problem statement. So, here is the problem statement for us. A ticket vending machine TVM dispenses tickets to passengers at a railway station. Passengers use the front panel to specify their boarding and destination place. Details of passenger that is the number of adults and children and the date of travel. The machine displays the fare for the requested ticket. The passenger then deposits cash in the bin provided and presses accept cash button. The machine checks the cash. If it is more, the balance cash is paid out and the ticket requested is getting printed. The system is also used by the operator who might want to know the cash held in the machine, the breakup of small change available in the machine, withdraw or deposit cash when needed and so on. So, this particular system will be used by the passenger and as well as by the operator. And the report options also include the detailed report of transactions, summary report of the number of tickets sold for each destination, opening balance, cash collected, cash dispensed and current balance in the machine. So, this is the total problem statement. That means it is a ticket vending machine where one customer or maybe a passenger, I think it is better to say passenger, who will be putting the details about the number of adults, number of children, the boarding place and the destination place and all and then the fare will be shown and the fare, the respective uh, amount will be there will be put onto the machine and machine will accept the cash, it will give the pre printed ticket out and if there is any balance is there, then the balance will be paid out and then this particular machine will be used by other passengers and then this particular machine can also be used by the respective operator to check the different parameters whether how much cash it is holding, how much is it has been dispensed and so on. Different reports will get produced and that we have discussed in this problem statement. So, in your real life also, whenever you are having a discussion with your client, your, your customers to know about the project, such problem statement will be originated. Here we have taken a real life lack problem, but in your case study, you might be having a problem statement which might be having say a uh, few 10 pages, the problem statement will be something like that. So, depending upon the problem statement, how we shall proceed step wise, that will be discussed in the next videos. Please watch all of them because they are related. Thanks for watching this.